So it's been about a year or so, just over maybe, that I last visited this little beauty behind me. Well, sort of see it in there, I suppose. It's buried a bit. Um, I'd like to see if it'll fire up again, to be honest. It did stop wanting to start after the last time. I came back about, I got it going last time, came back and about a week later and I just didn't want to start at all. I didn't want to get any fuel for it. I didn't have any spare time at the when I was here last. Um, so I'm going to see today should fire up again maybe maybe not we'll see but first get rid of that crap. all right better actually get around it now and this side bit of room down this side um so yeah, let's crack on. First of all, um, I've got a big battery of the van. Because the one that I bought with me, it's just there's nothing in it really. 12.1 volts, 12.1.5, it's just not enough to crank this over, so. <laughs> Hopefully it will start because otherwise I've got a flat battery. <laughs> I've got a battery charger with me, but let's see. I hate these quick release terminals because you needed to jump start it, or jump someone else with some leads. You can't. Chilly. About five degrees today. Now the sun's keep going in. So you notice it. Come on. Nice big battery this. Came off a E class. No. C e class Mercedes. Way too powerful for this, but <laughs> it gets it going in the morning, that's for sure. It definitely work on that little Ferguson. Right, so I remembered after the last first start, after however many years it was, um, came to use the thing again and it wouldn't start at all. No smoke coming out of the exhaust, couldn't work out why. Um, so this time round, I've um, drained the fuel through. There's quite a bit of air coming out um, of the injector line and the fuel filters. Also, I don't know why, but they're just airlocks after the last time it was used for some reason. So, um, if I um, flip you around, you can see. Got fuel up there now, cranked it a few times and there was nothing there at all. Um, I assume all the others are the same. Um, fuel there, fuel there, that filter, that filter, I, mean, I don't know how old these are. I did think that maybe the filters were blocked um, or the line was blocked. In fact, because there's basically a whole tanker of diesel in here and it's been here for a long time. It's not light enough in here. Bait, well, rough. So he's about three quarters full. Um, so, yeah, got fuel going for it all now. Um, um, before I tightened up, number four, number one, not sure what order these run. Um, it was starting to get a bit of smoke coming out of the exhaust, so I'm going to. Tow it back a bit, further out, and um, give it a go. So let's see what happens.
Well, that answers that question, doesn't it? It will start again. Um, it had it, been driving me mad for, well, since it, whenever it was, over a year ago, 
thinking, oh, God, it worked. Um, maybe because it was sat for, I mean, I don't know how long it was, at least, I don't know, 15 years, maybe. Could be longer. Don't know. Um, I was thinking, oh, no, injector pump's failed now. It's going to have to come off. And he sent away, etc. And I was just thinking, maybe it didn't. Maybe it was something else. Um, bit of patience and messing about. And, uh, Oh yeah, there we go. And the hydraulics started working, it didn't work last time. Um, I engaged the PTO when I first started it. PTO works fine. Um, pulled the arms up, nothing. Um, I thought it warmed up a little and um, gave it a few revs. Um, the arms were coming up. So, happy days. On to the next one, I suppose. Loads of, I mean, this is just a family hobby farm up here that used to be farmed years ago we used to have um sheep Aberdeen angus um chickens ducks um got commercial greenhouse and three massive polytunnels and I, maybe at some point i'll um when i get spare time between family life and work normal work life um have a look at some of those things potentially in the future um sort the place out because it is it's just derelict really um, it needs lots of stuff lots of things sorting out potentially in many years to come farm it again small holding maybe not sure but we'll see we go, when the springtime comes and we can actually do some bits up here with some different machinery and whatnot i'll um i'd like to document it on youtube essentially um so i can go back and watch i enjoy filming things and and whatnot um so yeah it might be a little hobby of mine getting to doing some more of these videos to put online if people took an interest um if you made it this far thanks for watching maybe see you soon don't know Ta.